questions about a variety of issues ranging from the way police are trained to toy guns. News 5 investigative reporter Todd Dykeson continues our team coverage for you tonight with more on this issue. Todd? Yes, Sheree and Mike, this is a case that will be reviewed and discussed for years to come, not only because a man lost his life at the hands of police, but also because of the way police responded. The best way to describe this is just a horrible set of circumstances. Whether you agree with that statement or not, that's exactly how Special Prosecutor Mark Peetmeyer views what happened at this Walmart store in Beaver Creek, Ohio. Among the circumstances that prompted the deadly chaos, two jump out. One, the design of the air rifle involved, and two, the way police are trained. Just about two weeks before John Crawford III was shot and killed by police, the officers involved took part in an active shooter training exercise. Again, it's like you know, put me in coach, you know, I want to knock some heads or something. And that's what these guys are told. You got to get in there and aggressively neutralize the threat. If you want to criticize the training or change it, okay. But these guys just did what they, they were told to do. Addressing the gun issue, Pete Meyer held up a real gun and the air rifle Crawford was holding before he was killed. The pellet guns and the BB guns, it's not like the Red Rider you might have had as a kid. These are now designed to look like the real McCoy. The one on the left of your screen is a real gun. Seeing the difference on your television is one thing, but for officers making split-second decisions, it's an entirely different story. As long as all the circumstances tell you it's a danger, you're allowed to engage. Well, federal regulations require that toy guns have orange tips or other markings on them that make it clear they are not real firearms. But at the, both the federal level and right here in Ohio, those rules do not apply to BB guns, pellet guns, or airsoft guns. They can be sold without any special markings. Mike? Well, Todd, thanks for joining us. WLWT continues to lead the way as this case develops. Head to our website, WLWT.com, to hear the Crawford family's full news conference. You can see the FBI video and the 911 audio in its entirety and join in the conversation with fellow viewers.